to the working space is a major difference between what we've got here and like say what we're using um, at Lincoln originally because we would have the objective coming down and it kind of get caught up in the petri dish, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the stage. We've got, okay, so this is gonna adjust the magnification right here. So from, from 0.6, which is actually 6x, to 66x. About half of the people in the lab use the upper lights, about half use the under lights, and, and maybe two use dark field instead of light field because they just think it looks better. So you want to set it for your eyes. Don't be afraid. Be it in there and manipulate it around a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put some, some uh, embryos up here and have you just take a look and get comfortable with the scope. As soon as you're comfortable just manipulating these things, then we'll move on to going ahead and taking a picture. Okay, now these are going to be like two-day, uh, four-day old fish. Now, fish swim, so they can, they can move in and out. Okay, so I've got one center here. The first thing I'm going to do is just have you look, and then we'll throw it out of focus and have you bring them back up. But here is a four-day-old fish, and you'll be able to actually see its blood flowing if you look tightly, and you'll also see uh, you'll see its heart beating. Are you able to still see it there? Mm -hmm. No, he's there. Is that high enough? That's there. better. Yeah. Okay, now, now no, you look I a little more you look a little more aligned on it. Where do you 99.9% .9 of doing science is sense memory. It's getting your hands where they need to be, it's getting your elbows where they need to be. Lots of scopes have these move from optic to some kind of other other tube. It might feed to a computer, it might feed to a camera. I'm gonna just try to get a good picture of his head and heart. Well he's not gonna lay on his side, so I'll just get a good shot of his head. <laughs> now, there are general rules to fish imaging. So this is rule number one. The fish always looks to the left and lays on that side. So every time you see a picture of a fish anywhere in a journal article, if the fish is looking up or if he's looking to the right, it's people that don't work with fish. It's an insider trade. Now, you can change his orientation when you after afterwards with the so whatever makes you happy, great, go with it. You know, if you see a good shot, take it. But basically we want him laying that way. So now that might be we're looking down on his head, or it might be we're looking at his side. But he's always going to look to the, the left of the left. image, right? So this is how he's always going to be looking. Okay. Whether you're looking down on his head or his side, yeah. that's how it'll always be. So this would not go into location right now because he's looking to the right. Right. So he's looking the wrong way. So I can take the picture and then flip it. Flip it. Yeah. yeah. Or I can. Oh. And now, technically, if you think of where the Nikon is, he's yeah, looking to he's the left. left. Does that make wow. sense? Yeah. It comes up with Nikon. I open this, open this, and here are the pictures that we took while I was there. Here's the last one I took. It's going to open up just in preview the first time. Look, it's a little fuzzy. I would. So the thing is, we want to get used when we take our pictures that we know are for our, our images. One, we want clean water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we'll use a, a glass depression slide. We'll clean it up. We'll take this picture over here and make sure we've got the shot we want, otherwise we better keep taking them because the, the embryo is getting older. Here's